Now, throughout my time as a content creator on this YouTube platform, there are a couple of things that I genuinely don't think I could live without. Today, we're gonna to be talking about 10 things that every content creator should have that are going to be under $100. Now, keep in mind, in this video, we're not really talking about camera equipment or lenses or bodies specifically, but more so the accessories or tools that will help you become a better creator, as well as the things that are going to allow you to speed up your workflow, which in all honesty are just as important aspects as the type of camera you're filming with. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. All right, first off, I cannot emphasize enough how important a hard drive is going to be, especially when you are filming hours of content. Every filmmaker, every content creator knows you need to have some sort of place where you can back up your footage, your photos, any type of important data can be stored on a hard drive. So the first thing I'm recommending is going to be this lacy rugged hard drive. This is a two terabyte one, but honestly should be enough storage for you to store everything you need to. Really important thing about having hard drives though, is that you wanna have backups on backups or even backups of backups of backups. So this is not the only copy of this hard drive I have. I have them saved on multiple hard drives in case one of them dies and I always have a backup and these lacy rugged hard drives are pretty durable they have this nice coating around it which is why they're called the rugged hard drives but definitely recommend having one of these now just shy of hundred dollars if you're looking for more high speed connections and aren't going to be storing as many files then definitely look into the samsung ssd drive ssds are essentially going to be faster ways for you to edit your photos and videos i use both of these my current projects are going to go on my ssd and then anytime i have them backed up they're going to go over here so if you're looking to spend about hundred dollars definitely recommend picking up at least one of these for your first investments next up moving over to some tools that are going to increase your productivity, I highly recommend every creator have one of these items. It's either going to be the Apple Magic Trackpad or any sort of Bluetooth wireless mouse. Honestly, these two things are what enhance my workflow a ton because they allow me to move through my timeline a lot quicker. Anytime I need to do some quick searches, I'm able to quickly move around and navigate with my mouse. Now, this is the Logitech MX Master 3, which is around $90, but honestly, it's probably my mouse of choice. The battery life is honestly incredible. You can easily connect up to two to three devices and the ergonomics of it fit perfectly in your hand. Anytime I need to do some quick scrolling I will definitely use my mouse but the magic trackpad is what I do most of my video editing with I genuinely cannot live without a trackpad because zooming in and out of my timeline is something that I do basically throughout every video project being able to do that on this large surface is a must so definitely recommend having one of these if you don't already next up if you're a photographer or a content creator who is always on the go then you have to invest in a peak design strap I said it so many times on the channel but peak design really is the go-to plug for any type of camera accessories first off the reason I love these peak design straps is that they're actually really comfortable compared to your traditional camera straps. They have this nice lining that doesn't allow it to slip. It's also super easy to adjust quickly. So if you wanna make it shorter or longer, all you have to do is just pull these up and down and then they just snap right into place. Also, I'm sure you've seen it on a bunch of cameras, but the Peak Design straps allow you to quickly attach and detach your camera from any type of strap as long as you have the clips on them. So I'm easily able to go from handheld to a strap within seconds. I honestly love the Peak Design straps so much. I have the small one in the gray color, but I also have the bigger one in the blue colorway. Honestly, if you are looking for a camera strap, I can't recommend the Peak Design ones enough. Now, in addition to the Peak Design straps, I also have the Peak Design tech pouch, which is honestly one of the best things to have, especially when you have so many different accessories for your laptop, your computer. I store basically all of them in this tech pouch. So I have wired earphones. Anytime I need to plug into my computer, I have a wireless charging bank. I have extra SD cards, lens wipes. My AirPods go in here. I have chapstick in here. Basically, it has so many different pockets that you can literally store anything you think of. Just super handy, especially when you're traveling to make sure that all your tech essentials are easily stored away in one pouch. Now, next up in terms of audio, the microphone that I have used for the past year, year and a half has been just the Rode Video Micro. You guys have probably seen so many different YouTubers using this mic, but it's honestly the best bang for buck mic that is out there right now. It's super compact and the quality you get from the $60 microphone is honestly pretty comparable to any other type of microphone out there. I'm shooting on it right now because I actually have two of them. So if you're looking for your first microphone for any type of voiceover needs or vlogging or studio setup, you can't go wrong with the Rode Video Micro. Now, in addition to that, I'm sure a lot of you guys are looking to start a vlogging setup, which is why I have these two mini tripods right here. The first one is going to be the Joby Gorilla Pod. This is probably the OG classic vlogging setup to go to. Now there are tons of variations of the Joby Gorilla Pod based on how heavy your camera is. I'm pretty sure this is the 3K one, but it has the movable ball head. This is definitely ideal if you have a small light camera setup. The great thing about these is that when you're vlogging, you wanna make sure that you have enough distance between yourself and the camera, and this allows you to extend your camera just a little bit. Also the fact that these legs are totally bendable, you can wrap them around trees, you can wrap them around poles to get different angles. They're highly versatile, but the quality does not last you super long, so you will definitely have to change these out as you go. My other recommendation for a smaller tripod setup would be this one from Manfrotto, which is honestly a little bit more sleek, but it offers the same functionalities. It's just a little bit more compact. Um, this is the one my brother uses for his Canon EOS M50, and he really enjoys it. So you can't go wrong with checking out either of these setups. 
My last two things are going to be accessories related, but every video editor that's editing on the MacBook Pro definitely needs to have a dongle. It doesn't really matter which one you get, but for me, I have to have an SD card reader, which is why I invested in one like this. It also has three USB ports and an HDMI port, so I literally do not go anywhere without having a dongle. I also have this new wireless charger that I tend to use a lot. The really cool thing about this is first off, you shake to turn on, you take off the back cover, and this back has a sticky suction cup mount, so then all you have to do is literally just Put your phone on and it's already charging so this is from a company called bezalel i'll have it linked in the description down below but the reason i really enjoy this is that i'm now able to charge my phone without having any wires because it is a wireless charger definitely recommend having a portable charger you never know when your camera your phone your laptop is going to die now finally in order for you to store all your camera equipment i highly recommend checking out the peak design sling this has now become my go-to camera bag because whenever i'm traveling with a single body a single lens and a microphone i'm able to put everything in here i've shown this on the channel before but it has of pockets so you can store sd cards batteries microphones it's got a super sleek profile and i'm a big fan of this black colorway this is honestly my final recommendation because everything i've talked about in this video you can basically store in this single sling Guys, that's gonna wrap it up for my 10 essentials for every content creator. Now, these are all tools and accessories that I literally use on a daily basis that allows me to improve my productivity as well as enhance my workflow. If any of these were helpful and seemed like something you would enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below. Comment any other types of videos you guys wanna see and I'll see you in the next one. Don't stress, finesse, peace.